Hi, this is another Wild Foods UK video and uh, we're alongside the banks of the beautiful River Teen in Shropshire. Um, and down here we have a very important plant for foragers to know. Now, you could say superficially it looks a bit like wild celery or even wild parsnips. It's certainly got a tuber of a root which um, does look quite tasty and appealing. And, and these shoots, when they come up, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you could possibly mistake these shoots for the, for the nice, tasty, young hogweed shoots that, uh, that we love so much. But this plant is deadly poisonous. This is in the Umbellifer family. Um, this is hemlock water dropwort. It's uh, definitely the most toxic plant in the UK. Far more toxic than even the death cat mushroom. This puts that mushroom in the shade, basically, when it comes to poison. Um, a handful of this plant is enough to kill you. Um, one of the roots is enough to kill a cow quite easily. Uh, there have been cases of poisonings from this plant through people mistaking it for other things like wild celery or wild parsnips. Um, but you really have to know what this plant looks like if you're foraging along the edges of, of rivers and streams, which is where it likes to grow. So, um, first of all, we have a close look at the... Uh, the leaf stem, you'll see as with all umbellifers, it's got opposing leaves to a, to a finishing leaf at the top. The stem is hairless. Unlike hemlock, it doesn't have any purple blotches on it. You won't find those. Um, and uh, unlike wild celery, it's not got the sort of celery shaped stalk. It's got a kind of rounded but slightly flattened stem, if you look there. Now this plant's, uh, as I said, it's been mistakenly eaten. Um, there was a case I was reading about today up in Scotland where a load of people uh, poisoned themselves with this plant. Luckily enough, they, uh, they mostly, uh, well, they all survived. Um, some of them really, really had a bad time, but they basically picked a handful and put it in a curry and shared that between, I think, 10 of them. So they didn't actually get too much of the plant each. Otherwise, yeah, they, they would have died. Um, this plant is uh, native in other countries, it's native to Sardinia and um, there's uh, a bit of a, a nasty twist with the poisoning from this plant in that what the toxins do to your facial muscles is make them contract so as you die you get left with, uh, with a, a sort of horrible grin on your face. Now in Sardinia they used to uh, use this as a poison for criminals and um, that's probably the origins of the term sardonic grin but be very careful of this plant make sure you know what it's like looks like if you're uh, if you're foraging along the edge of rivers because uh, it is fairly common in the UK um, there's not much more to say about it really apart from the smell I suppose the smell is another one of its deceptive features because it's got quite a sweet parsley smell which actually smells quite tasty and as I said the roots themselves they're big tubers and, and they look quite tasty as well but don't be deceived do not eat the hemlock water dropwort